All right, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. It's Dr. Ephraim. Shalom, elect. Uh, welcome to all my new subscribers. I'm just getting up there. Um, if you're just getting to the channel, even if you've been here for a while, make sure you hit that subscribe button and <clears throat> hit up that notification bell and select all so you'll be notified every time I upload a new presentation. <laughs> We got to do better on these views, man. I don't, I don't know what it is, man. If, if, um, because I'm still getting reports that people are saying they got all selected for every time I upload, but they they're not getting the notification. So, again, I say, listen, just come to the, come to the, you know, come to the channel, you know, every day. Like, don't wait on YouTube to send you a notification. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like on some sheep led stuff. Like, you know, like you shouldn't need YouTube to tell you. Y'all know that I'm, I'm coming with heat sometimes. You know, I upload three, maybe four presentations a day. It just depends on what's going on. So just, you know, come to the channel, man, and hit the hit the hit the videos up. I mean, we got to get these views up, man, because this is saying I just this 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 the inconsistency. I don't, I don't I don't understand. You know, I'm posting a lot of really good stuff, a lot of the materials. It's not really being watched. I mean, so it's kind of like, what's the use? And then you you know, I mean, you know, the comments ain't there. It's like, I mean, come on, man. Like, what are we doing? And I told, I, I went to YouTube and I told him, I said, listen, man, since I've got, you know, recommitted to, you know, dedicate myself to the channel in the last month and a half, I've got like 700 new new subscribers, but my views ain't changing. Like, what are y'all doing to my channel? Like, I, I, and my shadow band, they keep telling me ain't no such thing. But man, something, something ain't right with my channel. Man, this ain't making no sense. I'm pretty much getting the same amount of views, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, before... The, the the new seven hundred subscribers. So how 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 my views ain't ain't more different in the last month and a half with seven hundred new subscribers there about right. So but anyway, I want to thank all y'all for just you know um, supporting. Like I said, keep hitting the videos up, man. Commenting, you know, liking them. You know what I'm saying? It, it all helps, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it pushing regardless. You know what I'm saying? I, I rededicated myself, you know, to the joint, and I'm and I'm gonna do that. You know, I got a lot of heat, man. A lot of information. You know, what I'm saying, don't. You know, I'm not gonna just gonna do just DNA stuff. I'm not just gonna do, you know, you know, Hebrew Israelite stuff, or whatever the case may be. You know, I mean, I'm an intelligent brother. I'm an adjunct professor. I got a lot of different knowledge about different things, especially as it relates to our people. So please, just just know that this channel just represents a lot of dope, dope content. You know, you know, um, rather it's uh. <laughs> You know, black history or, or, or history on the on the on the Israelites or whatever, whatever I bring, whatever I come through with, it's gonna be heat. Just know that, you know what I'm saying. So just come to the joint, like you know, check it out. Like, let me see what Doctor E got going on, whatever the case may be. You know, hit the videos up, hit them up. You know, get the, get, get get these views up. All right, so um, this right here, man, this is my personal little hypothesis, man. I don't know this as an actual fact. But this is just what I feel deep in my heart. I think history got it wrong with the um, with the Moors. You know, you know, for a long time people thought Moors were were, were another kind of group or race of people. Man, all the Moors were were, were basically were, were the Ishmaelites. You understand? Because you know, when they say the Moors ruled northern Spain for like seven, eight hundred years, that was that was the that was the Ishmaelites. You know what they call the so-called. Uh, Muslim Arabs today, they wasn't called that back then, and they didn't even look like that back then. Back then, they looked like us, because I mean, because we, you know, because the the, the the original Ishmaelites were were dark people too, you know, with the hair and all that. You know what I'm saying? You you got to figure Ishmael, his mom was Egyptian, Hagar, and his daddy was black. So I mean, you know what I'm saying? So so all of his see, you know, same thing with Jacob. He you know all his see, they was a black people. So I really think history got it wrong. I really think that the um the Moors were actually um, the Ishmaelites, the seeds of Ishmael. So let's go ahead and check that out, man. Like I said, man, I appreciate all y'all. You know, keep the support up, and I'm going to keep coming with the heat. All right? So until next time, it's Dr. E from signing off, saying Shalom, elect. I was led to do a, a, a presentation on, on something I saw that, that inspired me. That's one uh, good thing I love about, you know, being uh, being at home and 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 even being able to, because um, many of you who don't know, I actually uh, teach, teach for a living. I'm a college professor. Like, I do that, right? Like, on top of all these <clears throat> lessons that I do, you know, I take the time out regardless. Because I got to do this because my, my, uh, my microphone is constantly attached to my, my laptop. So it's nothing for me to go from one to the other, like, right? You know what I mean? So 
and all I got to do was just, you know, uh, launch my um, my power director and, and, you know, gather what I want to put forth. And there you go. So, I mean, like I said, I love what I do. So, um, you know, I'm able to, um, you know, handle my business as far as, you know, because uh, I teach human resources management. <laughs> you know, that, that's what um, I teach on a college level. So I do that. And plus all these lessons I do for you guys for free, basically, um, because it's a labor of love because I love you guys, man. And, and I want everyone to be saved and, and have salvation. All right. All right. So that being said, I was led to do this lesson because I, I really think between what the what the because, you know, history has you know, told us about uh, <clears throat> the Moors, which a lot of a lot of black people seem to think that we're Moors, quote unquote, which Moors is a real ambiguous term. And um, really, uh, historically, the, the term Moor is really was just really meant to denote, you know, dark skin or black. Um, uh, but a lot of people seem to think that we're more Moors. And um, and that's not true. Um, history would have us believe that the, the, the Moors were actually the Berbers. And I don't believe that to be true. Um, I think I mentioned a, like, a, a, you know, a while back that just because, <clears throat> you know, history reports something or, you know, that doesn't make it true. Right. People kind of, you know, tend to think, oh, because you know, because history said it or because it's a part of history that oh, it has to be true. No, it does not. It does not have to be true. Not at all. Because <clears throat> they always and if you notice, they, and they never refer to Ishmael, they always refer to Ishmael <clears throat> and his descendants as Arabs. And I don't know if that's deliberate to give off a different impression or give off the, you know, because they don't want to give off the connotation of what they actually look like. You know, the the, the original Ishmaelites, right? Because that's what they should be really called. But it's rare that you'll see an article referring to the so-called Arab Muslims as Ishmaelites. But that's what they were. Right. And I'm going to get into that in this presentation. I'm going to get into how history depicts them and how history depicts the ones who was going all over the world and, 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 and with the Muslim conquest and taking over stuff and ruling Spain. And I'm, I'm going to show you the the the, the, the pictorial proof of um, what I'm saying. And then I'm going to show you what they're trying to sell me or sell us. And I'm just I'm just not buying it. Now, this is my hypothesis. Right. You know, this is my um. I'm not saying that this is an, ap an actual fact, um, but I believe it to be true. And so I'm going to you know, present, you know, why I, I believe that to be true. I believe that um, I think history got it wrong on this one. OK, um, I don't think the Moors were Berbers at all or any of those um, kind of you know, weird groups from North, supposedly from North Africa. I believe the, 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 the Moors were actually Ishmaelites, period. Right dark skin negro looking black men because that's what the original ishmaelites look like because let's go back before i start to the uh the presentation will set it off <clears throat> uh abraham uh abraham was a black man okay for all intents and purposes abraham i would have to say was a negro okay now so if abraham was a black man or a negro and ishmael's mother hagar was a black Egyptian woman or a black quote unquote hermetic woman, however you want to look at it, you know, she was a dark skinned woman. Nine times out of ten, she had, you know, kinky hair, the whole nine. We're gonna get in I'm gonna get into that. So I believe history got it wrong. I believe that they 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 don't refer to Ishmael correctly. Um and I think they get I think they do that on purpose because they want to give off um they want to throw it off like like you know they don't want to tell you that Ishmael is the progenitor of the quote unquote Arab Muslims. They don't they don't really want to tell you that, right? They always refer to them as Arabs, 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 Arabs. And if even if you look at what the so called Arab Muslims look like today, they look nothing like Ishmael. It's almost like they've tried to I don't I don't know if I can call it whitewashing history with with, with respect to that, but um, I just don't believe uh, the Moors to be this kind of weird people, Berbers, as they would have us believe. I believe that the uh, the Moors were actually the Ishmaelites. Let's get it. All right. So, you know, it appears that, you know, history goes to great lengths to kind of take black out of everything it's like they want to just remove they did they don't want history or people to know if the blacks were, were were good or great in anything in history which i mean we know they can't really t and totally do that but it, but it appears 
that that's what you know because you, you look at you know it's, it's subtle things right like that like like taking uh changing names of stuff right to, to take away certain connotations or take away black connotation you know i covered that a few times right or 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 not referring to um you know ishmaelites as that because he's the progenitor of the so-called arab muslim you know whatever he's the progenitor ishmael is matter of fact they said the prophet muhammad of the of the of the Islamic religions is directly related to Ishmael, right? I mean, it's, it's like that. And they, they just never, they, they never want to give props or give due to, I mean, to the, to the, to the, the black throughout history that's just been great and our black greatness throughout history. Cause all those Muslims going around conquering stuff in Northern Spain, all this and that. Let me tell you something. Those, those wasn't no Moors. Those were Ishmaelites. Okay. Making it happen. They, 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 they was not playing around. That's what I personally believe. That's my hypothesis. Okay, but for some reason, history never wants to give props. But check this out. It says, um, Ishmael is recognized uh, as an important prophet and patriarch of Islam. Muslims believe that Ishmael was the firstborn son of Abraham, yes, born to him from his wife Sarah's slave, Hagar. Ishmael is recognized by Muslims as the ancestor see 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 how they word that as the ancestor of several northern uh northern prominent arab tribes and the forefather of adnan the ancestor of muhammad muslims also believe that muhammad was the descendant of ishmael who would establish a great nation as promised by god in the old testament so with that little tidbit right there they said Muslims believe that Muhammad was the descendant of Ishmael who would establish a great nation as promised by God in the Old Testament. Well, where's the great nation? Because they're making it sound like, oh, yeah, them boys just cousins. I mean, the way they're making it sound like, like they're just kind of related. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's like even with that, it's like, it's like they just refuse to give that black man his props and his credit. And it seems like that's that's just really prevalent throughout. They, they, they've they been doing that. And they're trying to whitewash Egypt. They're trying to whitewash, you know, they, they just try to whitewash everything. Try to just remove black from history, man. It's, it's like, wow, really? But here's the thing. Right, and we're going, we're going to go here. This is going to be going to the next segment, and I I, I touched on it, you know, on, on the intro. Ishmael, his mother was an Egyptian, okay. His father Abraham was a black man. I'd say Negro, right? So you put black and black together, you're gonna get black, <laughs> straight up. It, there's no no way around that, right? So now so now they've tried to tell us that the original Egyptians weren't quote unquote black or negro or negro type people right but we know that's false because we have proof and the proof is called mummies right so check this out all right boom remember how i told y'all yesterday or day before that i believe that the most high allows us to find certain remnants of the past whatever the case may be now how rare is it to uh find a uh, uh an Egyptian mummy with the hair still attached. All right. Now this 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 without a shadow of a doubt proves that the original Egyptians, because that's what these are mummies of, the original Egyptians, there was no denying they were a black Negroid type people. All right. And and I I do I de and and that's why I believe that the Most High does that because he knows the unscrupulousness of men 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 are just men lie men you know especially eat them which I'm not even going I'm not going to even get into that but those pictures are worth more than a thousand words right I believe wholeheartedly that the original Egyptians were a black people and so that being said I believe that that coupled with the fact that that Ish Ishmael's mother more than likely looked just like one of these, you know, Egyptian mummy said she looked with the hair, with the, with the braids and all, like, you know, dark skin, hermetic Egyptian woman, period. And his father was black. So I Ishmael, for all intents and purposes, was the prototype of that brother I, I, I had in the very first, in the last segment. I believe that like to be the prototype of Ishmael, right? And Ishmael wasn't no joke, not at all. So uh, on to the next segment. And see, these people, my brothers and sisters and sojourners of Israel, are the Berbers. 
And history wants us to believe that these are the ancestors, these people you were looking at are the ancestors of the Moors that ruled Spain and went through conquering and, 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 and everything. They, they want us to believe that. They really do. These, like, these are the ancestors of the Moors. These are the Berbers right here we're looking at right here. And they're, they're still in Morocco. They're, these are the ancestors of the so-called so Berber. They call these people, the, they call them the Moors. And guess what? I'm not, I'm not buying it, my people. I'm just, I'm just not. Because every time you look at the, the pictures of the Moors that was really doing the damage, you see images like this brother right here. This is the Moor. This is what they call the Moor. Every, every time history depicts them, the Moors, Moors that was doing all the conquering and, and, and running around and, and making it happen, it looked like brothers just like this. So that's what I love about the pictorial evidence of history. Like, you know, even, even with, with, with the ancient uh, pictures of, you know, depicting the, they, well, they call it the Black Madonna or, you know, the, 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 the um, uh, Mary, uh, Mother of Christ, you know, depicting them as black because Catholics, the, 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 the Polish, the the uh, the Russians they all know that that, that the original Hebrew Israelites were black they know and that's why they, their art depicts it that way and that's why you got pictures of the Pope you know bound down or you know uh, acquiescing to the black Madonna and the baby uh, Christ but all throughout you know history pictorially speaking they every time you look at the the they, they have pictures of the Moor they look like this they don't they don't have pictures of those so-called Berber Moors that I just showed you no they don't have pictures like that and that's why I say I'm not buying it. Right. I believe that the I believe and, and, and it's possible that some Hermetic northern, uh, you know, Africans might have uh, uh, converted, you know, to Islam. Because back then it was pretty much, you know, Islam or death. You know, they was not they was not playing around. Just do a, um, you know, I don't want to put too much time in. But but just do a if you if you care about it, do some uh, Google, do a Google search on the on the, uh, the ancient Muslim conquest. You know, they wasn't playing around. They was running around making it happen. You know, it's Islam will die. So I'm not saying it's not possible that it there could have been some Hermetic Africans, um, you know, that converted and rolled with them. But I personally think there were no Moors. I think that the Moors were actually um, the uh, the Ishmaelites. That's what I personally think. That's my hypothesis. And I say that based on um, on where Ishmael um, and his mother settled you know, whatever the case may be, and him being the progenitor, you know, of the so-called Arab Muslims, right? And they just, they just weren't, history, history just does not, is not kind to Ishmael or, or the original Ishmaelites because, see, genetically speaking, the Ishmaelites' uh, uh, DNA or their Y DNA haplotype is E1A. Yeah, I believe it's E1A. I only met one brother, came across one brother, um... I actually have a picture of him too. He is a direct descendant of an original Ishmaelite, and I found that fascinating. Like I really did. But him, he was upset because he was claiming he was, you know, he thought he was a, a Hebrew Israelite. So when his DNA came back that he was an E1B1A, the brother was heated. I'm like, look, man, you, okay, genetically you're not, you're not Jacob, but that's cool. I said, do you realize? I said, you're a direct descendant of of Ishmael. And I mean, I just, me personally, I mean, I just thought it was fascinating. He wouldn't, you know, he, he wouldn't that happy. He wouldn't feeling it, you know, and I get it. You know, I guess, he, you know, he was disappointed. But again, with DNA, my people, it is what it is. It's going to tell you the truth. It's not going to tell you what you want to hear or whatever. It's going to tell you your truth, whatever that is, right? And that's, 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 the, that's the beautiful thing, you know, about DNA, you know, you know, I mean, you know, people can lie all day. People can tell you something your whole life and your DNA can come back and be like, man, you know, that ain't even true. And sometimes, you know, it's sad, it's disappointing. I get it, you know, but at the end of the day, you are who you are and it is what it is. And so I just kind of wanted to do a little lesson on this real quick because it just kind of dropped in my spirit, you know, about the original Ishmaelites. They never really get no props. The, um, the, I believe them to be the so-called Moors that was running around doing all the damage. And, uh, you know, found their way up to northern Spain and ruled and ruled that for a couple of years. See, they don't really, you know, uh, like I said, any time you see them depicted, you see these images right here. You don't see no no whitewash images of those so-called Berbers calling them. Talking about they, they were the original. They were the Moors. I'm not buying that. I'm not buying that at all, my people. 
But anyway, I just want a little, little something, something I wanted to do real quick. You know, those, you know, hopefully y'all, y'all like this little presentation. That's just my personal hypothesis. I don't know this to be a, an actual fact, but I do believe that uh, the so-called Moors were just the original Ishmaelites, but they weren't credited properly. But I believe that's what that was. All right, my people. Until the next segment, it's Doctor E from signing off, saying hi, by Yeshua, Hamashiach, Baruch Atah, the Nai, for now and forever. Shalom, elect.